As kids move through the foster care system, it's tough to keep their education on track, and that's before COVID-19. And now shelters are working to make sure that these children don't fall through the cracks completely. Our Claire Kreitz shows us how a shelter in DeWitt is working to keep the students engaged. Typically during the day, you'd find this children's shelter empty. The kids in the classroom at DeWitt Public Schools. But this year, they are staying inside these walls. A school setting, a regular school setting, it wouldn't be ideal for everyone. Tiana Bell is the administrator at Dana's House, an emergency shelter for Arkansas County. She says the Department of Human Services currently has 12 kids in their care. They have um, come from a background of abandonment or neglect. Now add a global pandemic. Bell says it made more sense to take the virtual option. For one of these kids, they move around a lot and they're exposed to a lot, so we wanted to kind of keep their environment contained. Their staff helps when they can, but sometimes these students need more than what they offer in-house. A lot of them have needs that they need that they need met with aids or different intellectual disability. That's why the shelter is looking to hire a certified or retired teacher that can bring more than just experience. Someone that is understanding and that is caring and compassionate towards the kids and their different needs and the different disabilities or disorders that we may run across. Making sure these students get the education they deserve even through their hardship. Dana's house was awarded an educational grant it will use to hire the full-time teacher. It's also looking for volunteers to help the students.